Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door, directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. I mentioned that, he's, I'm going to get a whole history of piss clams now. Oh. Well, there's a giant piss clam that Asian people love called a, a gooey duck. It's, yeah. it's, it's a big schlong. It's about uh, this big. Ocean duck here. Yeah. Oh, uh, spe speaking of gooey duck, um, uh, it's funny that's called gooey duck. Eh? That's what happens when you ejaculate, right? I don't there's know. A, um, you know. Are you familiar with the piss clam? It's a steamer. It, it, it's a clam with a big schlong sticking out. No, it's not. And you have to peel the foreskin no, off before you, you eat it. Hold it and it pees, freeze. No, I've eaten them. In. I've eaten but them. It steamed doesn't have a thing sticking out. Yes, it deep. does. That's no. a schlong. That's no. a pecker. Stop it. I'm Stop gonna, it. I'm going to look it up on Google. You, you keep going on. No, I know seafood. This guy is trying to tell me about seafood? You worked at Pathmark. Come For 10 on. years. Doesn't mean you know seafood. My, my aunt and uncle used to use them in the Chesapeake Bay for chum. I used to hold them and squirt little girls from the beach when I was a kid. They have a pecker. It may be a zy, but not the ones I held, and they peed all over the place. That That's true. So there you go. That's true. Come on. It's, Come on. Nature's fascinating. But don't make what do you stuff think? Up? Everything's about cats and dogs. There's lots of creatures. But don't make stuff up that they have a pecker it, sticking out and they don't. You haven't seen this piss clams I've seen. Why well, you haven't seen the ones I've seen? No, sometimes they go in. Yes. Like George Costanza when he was in a cold, ice cold. Yeah, I know, I know. We know. Don't don't describe that whole episode. This, now. this guy is so anti-talk and anti-communication. I, I am. He really is. I am. No, and I see the, the it's funny you watch TV, and yeah, so you hear the people saying, stop it, stop it. You know what, let me, let me get my personal, oh, he come near you. let me get my, no, I'm going to get my personal space so I can yap, flap my, my jaw all I want. Now I, now I got a First Amendment freedom of speech. Yes, I, I'm all, I'm, well, I, wait a minute, over here I can't. Well, if I was there, I couldn't see much either, right? No, it's not. It's not exactly that. No. I never said it was. No, I said schlong. What's the difference? It's because it looks like one. Doesn't mean it is. Yes, they do. I swear, I'm, I'm going to save photos of them uh, from Google, and I'm going to keep them on my phone. phone He's telling me that, that they don't have anything sticking Jimmy, out. Do it. Do it. When I go to the Korean market, they have a live tank with gooey ducks in there. Eileen, he's got the phone and he's going to do it. Look it up. 
Oh, I will look it up. Now, we're here. Right this second? Yes, we're here. You're, you're trying to put us off. We're going to look it up. I had my friend look things up today. Put us off. I will, no, I will do it. Oh, by the way, did you get in your apartment yet? Nope. Okay. I will tell you if I did. They're on holiday and... Oh, that I know. Oh, how are you making out with your anti-hoarding campaign of throwing things out? No, you're not. You know it. Stop it. You're not doing anything. How are you? No, you're not. You're cleaning up your apartment? I don't believe you. It's a little bit more. Expired coupons? <laughs> Two more expired coupons. This is without a doubt a maniacal thir Thursday madness. It's Thursday, isn't it? No. <laughs> you know what? One more day until Friday. Well, that usually is what follows. Yes, I leave, but not in your world. Tomorrow is Tuesday. This Friday, tomorrow. But not in your world. You see, you see, you have to, you have to uh, look at an item in your in your apartment or your purse, and you got to say, do I really need this, or will I ever need it someday? That's, well, that's a problem. She will say, I just might. But then she'll keep everything. She does. <laughs> I threw out some coupons today, a whole bunch. Of a whole bunch? What's a bunch? How many is a bunch? The ones that expired 68. How many? 15. 15? You know what? That is an, approve, an improvement for her. 15? Well, we'll make it 30 next time. Did you really? Yes, I did. You know what? That's a good question. Is she really? Did she really give her the fifteen? That's more than. I ah, see a change in number. Now it's different. When there's small coupons, about this much. Well, remember they double. They double, you say? I double, I say. Double, double the pleasure, I double the fun. What do you say? Eileen, pay attention. There's only things for guys to look at sometimes. She's looking for Ray Wolf. Ray. Don't give a shit about Ray. You and your thing that you twirl around doesn't know what it's talking about. Oh, really? It scares you. It doesn't scare me. It catches you when you're bullshit. You want to believe in God and not that toy. Oh, God, huh? You don't believe in God, that's your problem, though. Maybe that's your problem. You do. Is there a difference between God and God, like Archie Bunker used to say? Call him Gord. Like, come here, little Goyle. Sit on my lap. You know. Like, is 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 God sometimes referred to as Gord, like Archie Bunker? Say. <laughs> oh, by the way, you're gonna laugh at what I'm gonna tell you. I was I was conversing with a Philippine woman. You know what she said to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, wait a minute. That sounds familiar. Yeah, and I told her why I, I said about a friend named Joseph. She says, "Are you making fun of my English?" My friend Eileen here for God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thing. Well, she's not Chinese. 
Uh, she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just a thing. If I turn to the are these phones? That's not that's not where is at home. Rage at your home? Her phone. phone. You mean to tell me that nice iPhone, Apple iPhone that you showed me is at home? But it's, is that, does but, that make sense, Charlie? That does not make some mom make a sense. Does it make sense when you were home? Sometimes I bring it out with me, sometimes I don't. ask you that. Does it make sense when you go to that home? But it could be important. What if somebody. Why do they have to call you at home? Why can't they call you when you're out of, out of your house? You don't want to be, shouldn't be bothered. I'm talking like, I'm squinting like Gilbert, Gilbert Godfrey now. Now why, what if you really get an important call, like personal, like family? That means you're at home. Now why do you just have a landline? Why do you have a cell phone? You might as well get a landline and forget about the Apple. Or, better yet, just keep the app. I use it for texting, too. But you don't text when you're out? Not really. Well, then you know, I can't get through. Can I? Did you really throw out a stack of uh, expired coupons? For real? For real. For real, right? You get the same Benedict from the Downey in the West by a priest? Sorry, he didn't do it. <laughs> you know how rare that that particular medallion is. I don't. I haven't even seen it online. I have one blessed at home. Well, no, it's not a question of the spent. It's a question of of how often I've seen it, which I've never seen it before. No, I didn't spend much. It didn't cost me much. I'll, I'll never tell. I'm not. I'm not saying I pay. I paid a lot for it. I'm saying it's heavy, it's fancy, and it's big. I have never seen one like that ever. Most of them are small. So in other words, get, get the priest in front of you and have him do, have him do bless it. Okay. I, I have the ritual to bless it. If you want, I can email it to you. What does the ritual of the blessing you, mean? You say words, and then at the end, you sprinkle the holy water on it yourself. She told us she had it blessed, by the way. Why did you tell us you did? You did. Don't worry. I have one that's blessed. I did have one that's blessed. But the other one is deluxe. The, the other one is is big and 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 fancy looking. He saw it. I have one in my car hanging right now from the rear. View. No, but it's it's special. In other words, you, you you go to Catholic church sometimes. If you, they, they, why don't you bring it Saturday? No, and, no. By the way, that's your first mistake going to Catholic church. Although you're not. You're not young. You can't get a view. Remember, your, your religion is great for you. You're priest abusing your boy. Well, that's a, yeah, that's a whole other issue. She's got to get that thing blessed. Why don't you have? Why don't I email you the link, and you click on it, and you could say you could say the prayer yourself, and then you got the water. If it really is holy water. If I, was, if I was you, I would go to your church Saturday and fill it up. I fill, but is it who? Is somebody else fill it? Don't believe it. Maybe they took it from their toilet or or their kitchen ki or their kitchen sink. When somebody tells you something, take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> no pun intended. It's all queen herself. That's pretty funny. It's all queen herself. Oh my god.
Now, who, who tells more fibs, Donald Trump or you? Well, well, a fib is like a little white line. Well, but you won't give me some answer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can get that. How does that go again? When, when you laugh and go, that's like when you get caught, right? She admitted it. <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. I'm honest for the most part, 98% of the time. All kidding aside, really, number one, I didn't pay much for the, for the medallions, but number two, I haven't seen them anywhere. So it's special. You got it hanging where you sleep. Like you said, you got it hanging over your bed, over, over where you're sleeping. I got it on the couch. Sleep on the couch? Yeah. Sleep on the couch. Why? You don't have a bedroom? The air conditioner is out of the bedroom. Gotcha. So in the winter time, so in the winter time, you're gonna go back in the bedroom. Okay. Take it, take it Saturday, and you know, out of the package, and have the jabroni. You know, or you could do it. I could, I could send you the, uh, the the link. You know, what's your email? I have, I have an email at home. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, let the priest do it then. But don't forget, you know, you're not a little kid, so you're you're not in danger. Oh gosh. I uh, I need the co- I needed the coffee because my sister started asking me a thousand questions. I said I can't I can't do this now. I'm bu- I'm very busy trying to trying to. I, you should have seen the mess I had to clean up. I had one cup because I had a doctor's appointment for my uh, for hernia procedure. I, I had to go to Fairlawn. Uh, Hernie, I got there. I got a set set, set up for Holy Name Hospital. Hernie, uh, mesh. Yeah. They had me in the system from the first procedure. Hernia, yeah. They said it's uh, it's not from neg- it's not from carelessness. It's from uh, it's hereditary. I was born with one on each side, on the right side and the left side, tiny hole. They said sometimes you people are born with it. They, they, it's hereditary. I think you have a hernia of the face. What do you think, Eileen? How could he have the hernia of the face? Well, that must mean the mouth. Hernia of the face. What do you think? That's an opening. So he must be talking about my mouth. We need a mesh for his face, don't we? Huh? A mesh? Mesh. You mean like, like the remember? The, Somehow we're going to mess you up, hey, okay? Hey, Close his hey, face, you hey, say? Hey, that's what I say. Hey, we, we, Is that what you say? I say. Re- remember the crooks in the old days used to put a, sto- a nylon stocking over their head and their nose was like... Well, that really disguised Well, Clark Kent, well, uh, they, he did it with the glasses. Well, they were. Nobody knew that George Reeves, that Clark Kent was Superman. Yes, they did. Not even Lois. Lois was a liar. She knew. She knew. He didn't even have a big plastic schnozola attached to his glasses. He had ordinary glasses. That fools anybody. Corn dog. Yes. And they fool everybody. What type of glasses do they? They have little corn things around them. Oh, I'm sorry, thanks. Oh, give me strength. You know what the funny thing is? No, nobody. The funny thing is nobody ever. Nobody, the producer of the Superman series, nobody ever thought of how ridiculously low budget many of the things they did back then, like with like the horror movies. Some of them were really pathetic. The glasses on Clark Kent, like. 
Nobody, it never crossed anyone's mind when they were producing these shows. You know, I mean, I understand Soupy Sales putting a cartoon under a microscope with a, you know, telling people it was an amoeba. That was part of the, the comedy. But, you know, you, you're a producer. You know, you know how ridiculous a low-budget production is. Right? Right? You were not. You glanced over a quick second. I got a better question. Does Arby's really have the meat? No. It's all vegetables. So it's it's soybean that may, is made to look like... So, Arby's. It's, it's, it's a vegetable vegan restaurant. No, vegan. Not vegetable. No, they're, they're known for... No, they don't have any They're known for like smoked brisket and pulled no, pork and... No, they're known for cucumbers and tomatoes. So what is it? Why? Arby's doesn't have beets. Well, you know, vegan, veganism is not that bad. The Buddhist monks do it, right? Buddhist monks are stupid. They're, they're <laughs> No, they're very, uh, they meditate a lot. They're very. They meditate. Oh my God, Muffy, what you want. Yeah, but you, you should like that. That means you keep quiet when you meditate. That should be nice. Could I interest you two in some meditation? Now you're talking like Gilbert Gottfried. I am. This could be big. If you two could meditate, I'd be in heaven right now. I'd be in Yes. Now, you know, you could actually get paid for at, at Bananas Comedy Club for doing that laugh in the front row. Well, not really. You have to pay them, but he's lying to you. <laughs> you mean to get rid of her? Pay? To, to, no. Yeah, but it, neither way. I'll be back. <laughs> well, that means you're expediting the premises. I need to go out for some air. It's, it's kind of the, I hate to say it, but how come when we're not having, when we're having a heat wave, the central air is not cranked up. When it's nice outside, it's cranked up. You notice that? Oh, they're, they're, they're repairing it. Yeah. Well, it's long overdue that they're repairing it. You know that. Unbelievable. No, real, um, really, the piss clam really does have some kind of a projectile, a pecker, you know, uh, uh, sticking out. It really does have this, this schlong. This, it's not a penis. It's, it's, it's how they breathe. They breathe. Oh no, I'm not complaining. I feel, I feel refreshed. You know, I, I, uh, I rather have it this way than to not be able to breathe and to be like hot. You know, uh, I don't like humidity. And, uh, nah, I don't care. A dry heat I could take, not humidity. But, um, well, I'm, I'm glad that you're slowly learning that junk is really junk and it should be ripped up and thrown out. I'm, I'm happy about that. You know, but in all seriousness, I've never seen a St. Ben Benedict medallion like that before. So... Hang on to it, because I'm hang I'm hanging on to mine. Why? Fluids. Oh, look. fluids. Oh. Is that is Six that? Oh. Who's that? Uh, who's your little friend? Oh. Hi. Cynthia. Oh. Boy. Hey, you you got wet. Your leg is all wet. Hi. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get this napkin. You know, these napkins are uh, hard to come by. Oh, will you stop? You need your nap here. No, I know, I know. What do you think? Napkins grow on trees? 
They're made from trees, so yeah. stop it. I know. <laughs> oh, you, and you love this guy? Listen, listen. So you and Ray don't you and Ray don't go to dinner or anything like that? There's nothing going on with Ray. Not even lunch? Nothing. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're supposed to believe that, huh? Well, you and your crazy toy. <laughs> it's crazy crazy toy. Now it's a crazy toy. <laughs> then it was four dollars. You're so afraid of that thing? It's scared when you said that four dollar thing. Four dollar thing. You're so afraid of it. That, that's a lot of money. It wasn't four dollars. No, it's talking about my Android. Yeah, no, that wasn't four dollars. It it's priceless. Let's be honest. It, it's his, as long as it's a historically documented item. It doesn't matter if it's five cents, one dollar, or whatever. It, it's, it, it, they're authentic. Like the hand I gave you, that hand, that's ancient. I looked it up. That's like from India and the Middle East for the evil eye. She's afraid of it. You know they use that sound in the in the horror movie with the giant ants? Yeah, them. Them. They use that. Hey, what's if going you're on? Not careful, I'll, I will catch a spell on your ass. If you're not careful, I will put a spell on your ass. You know his 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 spiritual advisors don't 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 insult them. Is Eileen afraid of you? Okay, so no. Does Eileen believe in you? Yes. We're being invaded. Listen to that sound. So Eileen is not afraid of you at all. Hey, listen, little girl. I make, I can make baby sounds. That's pretty talented. Yeah, I can do baby sounds. You know what? We are being invaded. I don't know. Listen to it. Giant ants. No uncles, just ants. Right. It's like antioxidant, uncle oxidant. How come there's been articles about McDonald's protesting about sexual harassment cases? Why don't they protest about their salary and lack of benefits? Well, they do that too. Every, everybody is sexual harassment conscious nowadays. They're all like on walking on eggshells. Like, like you know, so what? Uh, if, uh, you know, Kavanaugh was in high school. He was a teenager, for, go, for, go, for God's sakes. You know how many how many bad things young boys do in, when they're young and in, in grammar school and no, in high school? No, not like that. That's they do. I, they I, drop. They're, 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 they're holding a girl to the bed and their well, mouth over her, her hand over her mouth. In my no. school, guys drop their drawers in front of girls. Yeah, that's stupid. That is anything but cool. But they're young. They get like away. My buddy said, ever since we were little kids, really, you've always had girls around you. You know why? I was cool. I wasn't a moron. I wasn't like the pack. No, no, you were an, a you were a, a leader, not a follower. Exactly. I just was cool, and smooth. I didn't do jerk bag things like, wow, I dropped my pants. I'm really cool. Every girl wants to go out with me. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh huh. Oh my God, that sounds. Oh, it's... I was standing over there this morning. A little, a little tiny mouse came running out, went right by me. Still? Yeah. 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 Topo, Go figure that out. Topo Gigio. He is. Why do you think he's here? You wonder what you thought those were raisins in your food, huh? <laughs> He's probably in the milkshake machine overnight, like like with a straw, like with the with the with the cockroaches. I don't like any creature with buck teeth. They don't have buck teeth. Rodents. They no, they don't. Like Joe Jitsu, like no, Japanese. They don't. They, they look normal. Mice don't have buck teeth. Well, they gnaw. They gnaw. No. Well, rats do. He was cute. Little tiny mouth. Yeah. I said, whoa, hey, buddy. You know what's cute? When a rodent goes on a wheel, exercise wheel. 
and they just she go around. That. And they don't go anywhere, they just go around and around and around. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Spinning wheel, da 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 da. Yeah, God. Blood, sweat, and tears. Blood, sweat, and tears. No, the, wasn't that Gary, not Gary Puckett, the other one. The Blood, Righteous sweat, Brothers. Blood, sweat, and tears. Oh, okay. What goes up, so, must go down. Spinning must wheel, wheel must go around. Must go around. Blood, sweat, and tears. If you don't believe me, you've got a phone. Check the song Oh, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not debating you. I, 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 you know, I know you know your music. What song would fit Eileen? Clowns to the left me, uh, to me, jokers to the right, here I am stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> <laughs> stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> Suffer, you damn pissing, piss clam bitch. Well, there was a lot of wacky songs that would have been great with her. That's the beauty of the music industry. You can have the dumbest lyrics and make money. You know. Remember Skyrockets in Flight, Afternoon Delight? Well, that was a good song. I like that song. That was a good song. Skyrockets in Flight. Remember that? Afternoon Delight. Afternoon Delight. You and Ray love that song. It was about two people having a roll, a roll in the hay. Uh, had nothing to do with A. That's it was intercourse. Sex, not A. Well, that's what country people used to say. Oh, having, okay. what are they know, hay? That's hey. he. That's he. Hard talk. Oh, hey! He doesn't know what hey is. Now, what does that mean to you? Skyrockets in flight, afternoon delight. Ah, forget it. Dude, I heard crickets. Afternoon. No matter, you're like confused. <laughs> Gee, like that's new. <laughs> Crickets again. Billy Joel, uh, Pressure. Oh yeah, that's. I, I always thought that song was cool. Pressure. You got. You giving me your Peter Pan advice. Pressure. That was a cool song. Da, 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 da. One more coffee, all right? Da, 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 da. You told him drink your coffee. No, I said no more coffee. <laughs> Superman, where are you? Oh, no, that was Phil Collins. That was a good song, too. When they showed the puppet of Ronald Reagan, remember? No. Oh, it's cold. No, you, you got a nice long sleeve down. Yeah, but it's cold here. You don't, you're not, you're not going to really throw that in the garbage when it gets dirty, are you? I turn it inside out like my underwear. <laughs> she doesn't believe me. My underwear. Oh boy. I think she's at a loss for words. It's better. What's better, lost in sp Eileen lost in space or lost for words? She's confused. You're having a weird day, now, aren't you? If you were abducted by aliens and taken to the Andromeda Galaxy, how long before they returned you? Oh, I don't think you'd last that long. I think two minutes. You see that saucer go, come right back. Because they did, they do, uh, they use wormholes and they use interdimensional travel. They're putting your name on the Hall of Fame pile. Interdimensional travel. The uh, McDonald's Star of Fame, Eileen. <laughs> Star of Fame. Right down, right here. Uh huh. I think you should give him an autograph framed 8x10 glossy to hang up. You know how some of these diners have like a celebrity's autograph 8x10 black and white hanging up? <laughs> you know, Andrew Anderson actually uh, offers a restaurant his 8x10 to hang up him and um, him and uh, the metal maniac his friend Jeff the metal man no no sexy Mo sexy oh he, he's a nice guy you know yeah. he, and, and, and Johnny oh, Thunder buddy, Johnny Thunder Johnny Thunder remember right away when I walked in that he goes Billy oh my god Johnny Thunder 
Johnny Thunder was like a bath. He was so such a nervous wreck when he was dating this young valet from pro wrestling, this young blonde that was like old enough to be his daughter actually. And he was dating her, and and you know as a young girl does, they flirt. He would get so jealous. He would get like he bent out of shape. I says, Johnny, uh, you can't. She's young. I mean, you can't control how. You can't control other dudes from looking at her or trying to hit on her, especially if she's a young, blonde, pretty girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, kill him. You can't, you know. Kill him. Right? Shoot him. You, even if, if it. Yes, you can. Now, a you glance. Just pull the trigger. It's easy. A glance is not bad, but staring is rude. Guys uh, shouldn't really stare. Like you do to her? Oh yeah, right. You know, stop no. the gawking. I speak at, I speak to her when I look. I don't I don't go like this. <laughs> yeah, you do. You don't, you don't know it. How many times has he been in there? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. Well, now you sound like a punch drunk boxer. I was imitating you. Show me how you do it. That that's somebody who's drooling. Show me how you just did it. Or oogling. Is that a word? Stop changing it. Just show me how you just did it. There you go. I don't do that. You just did it. I was I was comedy. But you just did it. That's the point. But that's not. I don't stare at people like that. And make sounds like well, that. Only her. Maybe Ray does that. <laughs> hey, that disinfectant solution, that's real. What is? They actually spend money on disinfectant solution. No, they and didn't. I can smell it. No, they didn't. I didn't think they, the owner of this place, you know. That's pain thinner or something. Yeah, <laughs> it smells like turpentine or something. I wonder who makes pain thicker. I don't think it exists. Though. It's strong too. You can smell it. Well, that means it's it does its job, you know. Like Mr. Clean. Ugh. Is like, Mr. Clean a virgin? I don't think. I think there are people that look like Mr. Clean, but I think Mr. Clean is fictitious. Oh, like, gee. Like you my, think so? Like the Quaker oat, like the Quaker oat oatmeal no, he geezer. Was, no, he was real. This Mama Celeste was fake, I heard. No, no, she's real. Yeah, like Captain Crunch. Oh, he's real. He's genuine. Captain Crunch. <laughs> I guess. I guess we were disturbing him. No, they gave him the wrong thing. He's going back to the oh. car. What did you say about him? Uh, I told him you were staring at him, and he left. You were ogling him. That's a funny word, oogle. What was the face he did? <laughs> no, I can picture Ray going, Oh, I haven't had sex in a thousand years. <laughs> you know, it's been a long time, Eileen. I think you and I should get together and do the, do the light fantastic. <laughs> yes, my dear. I'm leaving now. You come out in 20 seconds. No one will notice at all. <laughs> Man, you know, this place is really smelling like a chemical plant now. It smells like a chemical plant now. No, he's not. He is too. No, he's using a stencil. He's putting your name out there. There's paint. I can see the paint brush and everything. No, no, that's not paint. He's, he's, he's got a roller yeah. at the end of it. No, I, I think he's varnishing it. Let me guess, he's painting it yellow. Yeah, like that McDonald, that boring... He just held a sign up, said, I am not painting. No, you're joking. No. I still think... I still think the funniest the funniest prank is when it rains heavy and there's a puddle on the side of the highway. Me and Billy should get fishing poles and just sit, sit in lawn chairs, make them believe we're fishing on, in a puddle. Guaranteed we'll be on the uh, 6 o'clock news. Yeah, big taking the burger regional. <laughs> <laughs> now I now I smell fresh fresh baked bread. Do you get drunk at night at home? Oh I got some nice bourbon. 
yesterday called Heaven Hill. How much did she drink? No, I had I had one glass. How much did she drink? Oh, her the whole bottle will be gone. I I the best bar, the best bargain in bourbon is Heaven Hill Kentucky straight Kentucky bourbon, twelve dollars a bottle. It's smooth. It's really good. Uh, I heard they own Maker's Mark, the company that. Well, there's a lot. There's a lot of corpor corporations that are like buying out many liquor, liquor names. Uh, hold on. I stopped at the liquor store to find. Uh, I had a, I had a look for Dry Cream Sherry by Taylor. They were wiped out. The liquor he store. Been here in a, a week or more, Joseph. He's probably book solid. <laughs> book solid. Yeah, his bowel, his bowel movement is probably solid. That's about it. I never seen a guy that was too cheap to get razor blades. Nah, it's just a nervous habit, Is that what that is? Yeah. You nervous? Joseph, um, you know, um, you know, he can go to a dollar store and buy razors. You know, he can buy disposable razors. Uh, I don't think he uses a blade. They got barber saw if he doesn't want to pay much. Or you can get the shave gel that I got that's, that blows away edge. Oh, please. You know how thick and rich my shave gel is? No. It's like thick and rich. Ow. Try that on your legs. Thick and rich. I know my legs have never been smoother. Do you it's shave, like days do you shave with a credit card or do you use a razor? Credit card, you said? Your legs. A blade of glory. Or a blade of grass. Oh, use an oh, use electric. Electric. Yeah. I didn't think you were that high tech. Very, it's better uh, if you charge the battery. Very curvaceous, that woman. Very nice. Mm. Curly hair. Where? I don't know. Why not looking for somebody? Uh, oh, that's an antenna. Hey, um, Eileen, electric razor. Oh, you got to go to Harmon's Beauty Supply. Yeah, but the electric razor was old, so they didn't have the one for it. Oh, you mean your your unit? Nothing fits it. Nothing fits. Oh, then then you're out of luck. Yeah, I use I'm using another electric. Yeah, but there are a dime a dozen now. These electric razors, you can you can buy like a Remington, a Lady Remington, whatever, or you know. The Remington actually lasted a lot longer than the Norelco. I had a Norelco like triple header. The thing got dull real fast. You know, but I don't really, I think there's too much friction with an electric razor. Irritation, you know? I know Bill doesn't care for an electric razor much. I'm too much of a man. <laughs> I don't do what you bitches do. See? No, 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 I'll help you over there. No, you don't, don't need the glance. Focus right here. Remember the Clint Eastwood spaghetti restaurant where he goes, how much for a bath and a shave? And the guy goes, that'll be 75 cents. And he's got the, sh he's shaking with the uh, straight edge, straight razor. He's going like this. Uh, you never see any of them use a crooked razor. Think about that. 75 cents for it. Then Mordecai, the midget, came out and filled the bathtub. He's a, he's a midget. Yeah. Please, don't, if you have a kid with Ray, don't name it Mordecai. Don't name it Mordecai, believe me. Give oh, the kid a break. Uh, oh. Yeah, what could, what could she name her kid if she had with Ray? Besides Freakas of Jewish. Meshugana? Meshugana? Meshugala. Oh, Shvatsa. Oh, it's Shvatsa. Shvatsa. That's what, that's what Jackie, Mason. Jackie Mason got in trouble. The temperature's going to drop the weekend. It is. In the low, low, low 60s. Below freezing. Don't let him lie. Uh, he's lying. Low 60s. Below freezing. I'm chilly now. It's cold in here. I'm chilly now. You know what? What time is it? I think it's getting a little late. 21 after. We'll go over to 21 five. after 4? No, 7. Yeah, but 5 o'clock? I, well, I could probably have one beer and then leave. Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, but she, you know, 
The girl's there. She bugs out at 5.45. Tell her, tell her, stop the shit. She's supposed to leave at 6, but they all, you know, they all tend to leave at 5.45. One. One beer, and then I got to skidat yep. I got to skedaddle. I'm going to go over now, okay? Maybe he'll show early. Earl Scheib will paint any cover. You want these? He doesn't want them after all, he said. Give me, them? give me, give me those. Look, look, he's, uh, give me those. Frickin'. Fight over. Come on, you two. Let give me, me see a fight. Let me see a napkin fight. Over, over fast food napkins. I haven't seen a napkin fight in a good old fashioned napkin fight in a long time. Skyrockets in flight. Have a good time having drink You don't care. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Do you imbibe? Oh, you could care less. Do you imbibe? Do you imbibe? That means do you drink? You, you you drink occasionally? How often is occasionally? Once in a while. Yeah, daily. <laughs> Once in a while means daily, right? No. Well, you're Irish. Yeah, but you some are? Irish don't drink. What about what about kissing a Blarney Stone? How far do you have to bend over to kiss the Blarney Stone? Yeah, not where, too far. Where's Blarney Stone? In Ireland. Is it in Blarney? Is there a town it's called Blarney? Blarney? I don't know where it is. She just said Ireland. She don't know where it is. Well, she spelled it backwards. Oh God! I don't know you what know this is. More about Ireland than I do. I know. I got a shillelagh at home. Yeah. Oh, sh don't swear. That's what Ray, Ray said. He had a shillelagh in his pants. Well, she knows that. Donna shillelagh. Remember she was her? I remember her. Yeah, I remember her. Okay, Gabriel's. Holiday Inn, Route 17 South, Hasbro Kites, New Jersey, the famous Bananas Comedy Club, uh, right in front of Gabriel's in the Holiday Inn, a beautiful fountain. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful fountain. It's like the Italian song, Three Coins in the Fountain. No goldfish in there, though. Probably die in the winter. Holiday Inn, Gabriel's Bananas Comedy Club, Holiday Inn, Route 17 South. Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey. This is cute. It's like a little park. It's like a little park, you know? And right behind the Costco is the famous Teterboro Airport where all the private jets land. Okay. Oh, there we are, Gabriel's. There we are. Very relaxing atmosphere. There it is, the famous Gabriel's and Bananas Comedy Club, Route 17 South, Asbury Kites, New Jersey. Can you dig it, sucker? All right. What's wrong with this thing? This has been a Mega Life 21 production.